Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we have made the sales form, right? So this is a sales form. So I have completed the course section. I have explained step by step. So okay, if I write in step by step, it takes too much time to complete the project. So here, first you can see inside this view folder, I already explained this one. We have created the folder called sales inside the sales folder we have a create.blade.php here this one the the extend layout and content is already explained start it here here we have to close the bracket right after that what i did here is now what i did here is we have make the ui design right this is may i design okay the ui design mean this is the ui design we have made okay this is a ui design right very simple code I have used it you can see as you can see this is the adding inside the container we have adding costs after that we have created the row so we had we, we, we have created two types two types right we have created two times right now okay now it's perfect now here this is a row row the yes, we have several split out two this this all together 12 the first row the first row we have separate two columns right the two columns mean this is one column the second one the one column we handling the sales part second column we have a calculate the final total and balance everything we have selected over okay. here right so after that we have we no need this field as well according to our system we no need this selection but we have to get rid of this like we no need them this is enough right now you can see here what I did here is here is professional simple system right now you can see here this design what I did here is as you can see the first row is eight second row I have get it here it's four all together 12 the first column we have put one form form and tables right the form and tables first column right this is for we have a calculator sales uh, if you enter the relevant product id relevant product details will be, if i select the quantity the amount will be calculated click add it will be added below and these are things you have calculated over here so here the product code sub table table as a headings product code product name price quantity amount and options so this here product code product name price quantity amount and option right these are the heading so here these are the design of the text fields input field right so barcode so barcode mean here this is a barcode right this is a product name so you have to write this is a product name so with a place order you have to write as a product name product name right so price so if you are select the enter the bark id the matching with the product name should be displayed on these text boxes so here we can see the first you have to look at the design the first one the second one the input field so the second input field third and fourth so you have to write like this okay this is the surprise this is the this is for price calculate part this is a quantity this also the quantity price of quantity after that we have the uh, total price. this is a total amount total cost is calculated after that we have one button which will be what is the item you added if you click on this button it will be added into the table so this here if you click if you enter something else here the first you have to look at this one if you are enter the relevant barcode id the respect here kind of the here the product name and price would be displayed so what i did here is you can see here it's a barcode ID, right? So this barcode ID, we have in order to get the record, we have a script. We have to implement the script. Okay, so these are the our jQuery min dot js. You can get these files from here. The min dot dot min dot js. You can just go over here. You can get from here. Here you can select it here. Okay, you can get the codes. Here you can get it over here as well. Jacob, here this one. 
this I mean dot js get this one you can get them plus the ajax codes you can get them over here serial so this one you can get it over here right so second one here this one or also the validate dot min dot js okay, this one this is for the we have to in order to calculate the in order to do the jquery validation this is the min dot js all the things are must right so we have to get this for the library course okay this one okay the cdn you can get this library here this will you just copy and paste it over here you can use them that's how i get the copies so you don't need this all the source code i can give you don't worry so here what i did here is first i'm going to make one function script here first this one we don't need them this all the things i don't need not them so here what i did is we have a product code here we have created a function this is a simple function what i did here is what is the bar code first we have selected empty it is a key up event key up event means if i here you can see here if i click on this this is a key up if you are you just type the product code the relevant product id should be displayed so this is we have to write the event handling so a key up function here we have a barcode barcode means here this part this text field i have given the name as barcode so whatever name you can give for your product name product id or whatever name you can give here you can give here here i have gave here as barcode here barcode we have to calculate if the barcode is blank if i generate there i enter the select the please select the barcode right if the barcode is there it goes up if you implement the function which is a post we go to the route we are called the search route so you have to call the if you are handling with the uh json request ajax calls you have to pass this token then only it works in laravel you have to pass this token okay so you use a token whether you are the right user or not you have to use a token you have to give this code header section after the data okay so data what is the barcode you are entered here this barcode so here what is the barcode here barcode we enter on this text box this barcode should be this is a barcode dot well we have to get the barcode and pass into this variable we have to pass a token this same token we have to write like this here or else right so after that what i did here is this goes to where yeah, and route search action method so we have to go to the routes where is the route we have to implement the web dot route over here it's a post method we have called the post method search sales controller search action method you have to provide the path where if your uh, controller is resided you have gave the path already to go sales controller search action method say sorry sales controller search action method receive the request try this a bar this one match with this same thing this one match with this this bar code this one name okay this is here whatever name you are given here this name will be go and get receive the data over here to here and pass into the query right this is the data after that here we have to what is the barcode id coming here we have to search the record how to search where we have to search the product table it will search product where there is a where close right id id mean product table id we have to find what is the barcode coming here product table id right this id should be matched with this that respective record will be response as a json format response as a json format right it will be returned to where here we are here if the id is from here you can see here for here you can see here here we can check it here here i'm going to give the console log as well right click in fact you can see here here this array inside the array here the record is found here second here second array here the display third here the display here it's working so with the the respective data will be displayed correctly correct form right so it will be display okay so here what i did is we receiving here and passing to the respective text field so which text field is coming the product id product name price this is the same name for here 
you can see here the same name it's coming here the same name you have to give okay product name the same right price here it's coming like this the same name you're coming like this where we have to give this this value should be passing to where this text field which text field you are passing to this text field product name and price so we have to give here you are given here that's it that's the thing we have did so far that's the thing we have done did so far right i hope you guys understood things so right we have understood things well you have understand this after that what i did here is if i click on this add button the record should be added below so what i did here is you can see you can see we can design the table okay so here product load product name unit price and quantity and amount these are the table design right right okay ah okay these are the table design okay so after that we inside the t body we have called this one as a jquery format jquery t body and link the record so here the t body we are calling it over here when you click add button When you click add button, it goes to add products, right? So here, what I did is add products. We have created the variable products. So barcode, here's barcode, product name, price, quantity, total, and we have one button. This is all the variables. So here, this one, so all this one. Here, this name, barcode, price name, product, quantity, total, and the button. So here, button also be additionally added. So here. We have called it a passing to these variables, right? Click add row button. So add row button, we have write it over here, right? If you have to make the table, this table means the table product list body. We have write like a product list body. Here you have to write this one product button first the columns, right? So button, we have a delete button as well. After that, your product name, price, quantity, product, total cost. Here this likewise we have added, right? So here. Product barcode code, product name, product price, product quantity, and product total cost. Right, we have to add it like this, right? So here we have added one by one here the product code, product name, price, and quantity, all things we have added like this. Right? So it okay, it will be calculated the total final total over here. Right? So if it is a delete button, if they are saying if you have to delete them. Here it will be it becomes zero. So you have to handle this delete row. Delete row we handle by this function. Right, this is a function. We have hit this all the source code I provide you. You simply have to handle this code. Right, very simple way. You can get them the idea. Right? This is the flow, it's, it, it should be working. This is the flow. Simply it's working the uh, things okay, so the simply right. So if you are take this respect ID, it will be displayed over here. Okay, so it will search the record here. So it's, it's display fine, right? So I hope you guys you understood the things well. So here we can see what I did here is here. Uh, you can see the search button, we have a route. You can see what I did here is here. First, I am going to go to here the uh, layout.blade.php here we have made the link sales page sales we have clicked on the sales page so we are go to the route section here right route sales sales control class here we have to implement the path same as a product controller path we are given here as here we have a search route search controller search action method go to search action method so we have to go to here what how to do the task is here we have to call the route over here. I already asked you, you I already show here. Here route search search means goes to the route search go to here route search action. Right? This is how the code work perfectly well. I think you, you have understood things well. In my next video tutorial, I continue the uh, 
uh, both table sales and sales sales details how to record should be flow right thank you for watching